All right, what's going on, party people? This your man Griff. Um, getting ready to do a groundworks inspection video. Got my cameraman Solomon, my son. He's working the camera. So I'm gonna show y'all how to go about how I go about measuring the house um, using the laser. Also, sometimes I use a tape measure. And then I use the wheel. All right. So taking a look at the house. So we got these different little angles. My house is pretty simple. Um, it's pretty straightforward. But let's just say this first part right here, you got that little bump right there. You got this little bump right here. So what I would normally do is from this point here, I would just use my laser measure. So I take my laser measure and boom. And that right there is telling me it's 20 feet even. So instead of rolling the wheel all the way back and forth down there, I'll just go ahead on and use my laser measure to tell me what the footage is. Now, when we come up here, you turn toward me, step back some. So as you see, instead of trying to use the wheel from here to over there, I'm using a laser measure, which tells me it's seven feet, nine inches. So from here to there, seven feet, nine inches. And then around this little corner here is a small area that's two feet. And then if I measure from there to there, it will give me the distance. So that's how we use the laser measure for this here, not even worried about trying to run the wheel back and forth. Now, how I go about using the wheel, real simple. So with the wheel, if I'm measuring the garage, I'm just lining up at the end here, and then I'm just running. And what that tells me, come close. And what that tells me is I got 20 feet, six inches. So when you're out here by yourself, you don't have somebody on the other end. And a lot of times they don't want you carrying somebody, especially with the interior inspections because they haven't gotten a background check. So you just run the wheel from here to there and that'll tell you your footage. All right, come around here with me. So we're gonna go start from the back going forward because it's too much light shining down. Alright, so just stand right here and just follow me down. Mm -hmm. Alright, so, <clears throat> so as you see, I'm lining up on this edge right here, and then I'm just going straight down. To the end right there good look up at me so now i'm at 52 feet four inches that's how we use the wheel along the side okay now for the back so again with the laser measure and these little tight spots here that's one feet six inches. From here to there, tells me that's three feet, three feet eight inches. Now, if you have a tape measure, you can also use the tape measure. You use the tape measure there. You can use the tape measure this way. And even, and you can do it that way. Also, if you want with the laser, you can bounce it off your hand or, if you, or with your clipboard. If you have your clipboard, you can bounce it off of that. Same thing. Right there. 
So as y'all see, we got the door to the fireplace here. So you don't feel like trying to run the wheel. And then you just laser that. Tells me it's nine feet, one inch. So that's pretty much how I go about doing with the wheel and the laser um, when I do the measurement. And then you just mark all of it down. So we're gonna go back up front. I get over my shoulder so you can see the board here. So basically my house shaped somewhat like this. All right, so that's just a rough sketch. And then you do all you're doing as you do your measurements, putting your 20 feet. I think that was say 20 feet. That was 54 feet. That was a foot. That was like three feet. So forth and so on. That was nine feet. And you just do that all the way around. If it's a two-story house, um, unless it's weird, it's pretty much the bottom is going to match the top but sometimes it doesn't then you would just have to sit there and i'll figure it out because sometimes you'll have a a room over that sort of offset from the rest of the house and then you have to do that measurement um by itself um and everything and then let's just say you know this here is um 30 feet that there's another nine feet that was two feet one feet that was one feet you know i think that was seven feet one feet we'll just give that nine feet <clears throat> and then when you add all that stuff up that gives you your square footage and then and i'm gonna do another video where i show y'all i'm putting all that information in so so that's pretty much it um it's not too difficult but for straight line parts i use the wheel for those little curves and stuff where a wheel's not really gonna fit into, I go ahead on and um, use the laser measure or I use my measuring tape to get my measurements. I prefer the laser because it's more accurate. Um, I don't feel like trying to figure out eighths of an inch and all that kind of stuff, but that's pretty much it. And then as I'm doing it, I'm just writing down the numbers on my rough sketch here. And again, it doesn't have to be perfect because once you put it in the system, it's gonna look totally different. All right, talk to y'all later, peace.